Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Real quick, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Thank you. Chapter 12 Ephraim feedeth on wind and followeth after the east wind. He daily increaseth lies and desolation, and they do make a covenant with the Assyrians, and oil is carried into Egypt. The Lord hath also a controversy with Judah, and will punish Jacob according to his ways. According to his doings will he recompense him. He took his brother by the heel in the womb, and by his strength he had power with God. Yea, he had power over the angel, and prevailed. He wept and made supplication unto him. He found him in Bethel, and there he spake with us. Even the Lord God of hosts, the Lord is his memorial. Therefore turn thou to thy God, keep mercy and judgment, and wait on thy God continually. He is a merchant, the balances of deceit are in his hand, he loveth to oppress. And Ephraim said, Yet I am become rich, I have found me out substance, in all my labors they shall find none iniquity in me that were sin. And I that am the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt will yet make thee to dwell in tabernacles as in the days of the solemn feast. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. Is there iniquity in Gilead? Surely they are vanity. They sacrifice bullocks in Gilgal, yea, their altars are as heaps in the furrows of the fields. And Jacob fled into the country of Syria, and Israel served for a wife, and for a wife he kept sheep. And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. Ephraim provoked him to anger most bitterly, therefore shall he leave his blood upon him, and his reproach shall his Lord return unto him. Matthew Henry Commentary on Hosea chapter 12, verses 1 to 6. Ephraim feeds himself with vain hopes of help from man when he is at enmity with God. The Jews vainly thought to secure the Egyptians by a present of the produce of their country. Judah is contended with also. God sees the sin of his own people and will reckon with them for it. They are put in mind of what Jacob did and what God did for him. When his faith upon the divine promise prevailed above his fears, then by his strength he had power with God. He is Jehovah, the same that was, and is, and is to come. What was a revelation of God to one is his memorial to many, to all generations. Then let those who have gone from God be turned to him. Turn thou to the Lord by repentance and faith as thy God. Let those that are converted to him Walk with him in all holy conversation and godliness. Let us wrestle with him for promised blessings, determined not to give over till we prevail, and let us seek him in his ordinances. Verses 7 to 14. Ephraim became a merchant. The word also signifies a Canaanite. They carried on trade upon Canaanitish principles, covetously and with fraud and deceit. Thus they became rich and falsely supposed that providence favoured them. But shameful sins shall have shameful punishments. Let them remember not only what a mighty prince Jacob was with God, but what a servant he was to Laban. The benefits we have had from the word of God make our sin and folly the worse if we put any slight upon that word. We had better follow the hardest labour in poverty than grow rich by sin. We may form a judgment of our own conduct by comparing it with that of ancient believers in the like circumstances. Whoever despises the message of God will perish. May we all hear his word with humble, obedient faith. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen, and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day.